With me as always is Norby. What up, what up? Today we're gonna try kind of an interesting uh, scotch whiskey. It's uh, the Macallan. It's a 25 year old, vintage 1990, and it's actually a single cask bottled for the master of malt. As you know, we've been ordering a lot of these miniature samples. They call them drinks by the dram for the master of malt, and this is their own cask of Macallan 25. Correct, and um, it, it, it says single cask on there, it doesn't have a cask number, and it's bottled at 49.4%. So when we see this, um, the bottle is available still on the site. In US dollars, it's around 700. It Maybe a couple dollars more, but around $700. So we're like, okay, it's Macallan 25. It's a cask strength. Um, it's bottled for a reputable company. And uh, we're curious because the actual Macallan 25 is not a cask strength. And it's... Um, a lot more. It's a lot more expensive. It's, yeah, it's more than twelve hundred. In the states, it's around fifteen hundred. Jesus. And more. Yeah, Some yeah. places even more. Fucking but you can find you can find it for maybe twelve, thirteen hundred. Um, this is a vintage nineteen ninety. Um, I have tried a vintage nineteen ninety Macallan eighteen. It was excellent. Um, so that's another reason why I wanted to try even more. So it's a twenty five year old from nineteen ninety. Bottled at 49.4%. It's a single cask for Master of Malt. It is the bottle is available on the site. I don't know when we're gonna release this review. It might be sold out by then. We might buy the last bottle. We, we don't know. Let's try it. Um, so in that sense, we're excited to try it. Let's see if it's worth it. And I guess when we score it, it'll kind of be compared to the actual McCallum 25-year-old, which we have reviewed. You check it out if you haven't yet. Color is as expected from a Macallan 25 year old. It is very nice, rich, and dark. That nice Macallan mahogany color. Beautiful. It's like rich mahogany wood furniture. Yes. Beautiful. My it's been breathing for about 10 to 15 minutes on the nose. We were chatting about it before about you know when you have these young younger in your single cask heavy sherries a lot of times you get sulfur you know like kind of like rotten matchsticks in a bad way but this is kind of like a, a sweet like kind of in the background campfire or like garden bonfire they say uh, kind of sweet sulfur it's very nice the first element i get but then it clears away and you get more to those those uh traditional sherry elements like dried figs and raisins and dates. Yeah, it's, it's very dessert-like. It almost approaches cognac-like, where it's like so, so desserty. It's, it's, it's raisin soaked in brown sugar kind of sweet and uh, chocolate kind of sweet and, and caramel with some light, light coffee beans. And then, and then those, those matchsticks that Mike referred to and some light sulfur notes in the background. Um, they can be offensive. They're not offensive in this whiskey. It's kind of light and in the background. Totally getting like a caramello bar, like a rich milk chocolate, but also bitter dark chocolate as well simultaneously. And then really nice toffee and caramel just oozing out of that chocolate notes. So totally on the dessert level, the chocolate bar massive, level. Massive, yeah. Massive, massive, massive dessert. It's yeah. almost like half half rich cognac meets half scotch. It's very, very dessert after dinner type. And that's it, it's not extremely complex. It's, ex it's very enjoyable on the nose. It's just attacking, just gushes of, of brown sugar and just right. chocolate. And like you said, it's, it's, it's kind of like a caramel chocolate bar um, with, with, with those raisins that are just soaked in, in cognac and, and sweetness. That's good, yeah. Now I am getting I am getting some more fruit elements, so I wanna like make the distinction. It is not, like Narvi said, totally true. It is I wouldn't call it very overly complex. But I am getting now so I just wanna like let everyone know kind of thing. But I am getting now some some fruit elements, some apricots, some peaches, 
some kind of soaked sugary mangoes. So it's still very much on the dessert level, you know, different from the dried fruits and the chocolate, but I am getting some kind of luscious sweet fruits. But again, it's not in an overly complex way. Like some of the whiskeys that we've reviewed where they're just so complex, where it's mind blowing off the charts, just so you know kind of what to expect. But there are some fruit elements in there. Palette? Yes, sir. On the palate. Interestingly enough, none of those sulfur elements on the palate, only on the nose. Drying in the absolute most satis satisfying way you could think of. With, with wood spice, dark chocolate, orange peel, orange oil, candied orange brown sugars, brown sugar cubes with some light espresso, Milky Way bar, but not with, whoa, not with milk chocolate, more with dark chocolate, just like caramel elements. Wow. Some sea salt chocolate. Absolute, absolute joy on the palate. Surprise. A surprise. Yeah. The nose was good. But but it it, it it had some some of that some of that sulfur elements and I, I said it wasn't offensive and it wasn't but it was it was it was bringing the whiskey down by a point or two for me, um, and on the palate I'm not getting any of that right exactly um to me and I love it so much because because the regular Macallan 25 is only 43 percent. It's obviously great, it's amazing, but I kind of feel like it holds back a little. Whereas this is, this is I assume it's cask strength, 49.4%. Anytime you see a 0.4, it has yeah. cask strength. And so I, that first, I feel that kind of extra oomph, like I feel from cask strength whiskeys. Mm -hmm. And that's what's kind of blowing me away with the palate, where it's, it's, there's a little alcohol at first, but it goes away quick. And it's crazy strong flavors. Those fruits are coming out way stronger now. Like Norby said, the Milky Way bar, like kind of chocolate bar, the raisins, the rich, rich kind of rum soap, raisins. Yeah, rum raisins, figs, all those elements are coming out super strong. And the wood spice, like we told you before in the reviews, I'm much more sensitive to drying elements like wood than Norby. Those wood spice elements are in drying are in the most perfect way possible. I can't I don't know how much time has passed, a minute, two minutes since since I did take that sip. And in terms of the finish, I'd say it's a medium finish because I got those wood spices in the most enjoyable way, but none of that dry effects of the wood is, is there right now. Um so it's it's not an extremely long, 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 long finish. I'd say it's a medium ish finish, but it's a it, it's an awesome finish. Because the way the wood plays in with with the sweetness, it, it needs it. It can't just be sweet. I don't like too you know too much sugar. It needs to be balanced, and it's balanced in the most perfect way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. One more sip. Really nice. I'm gonna take it off. The palate really helped a lot to bring it to that next level. Mm. And much more as it breathes more to in the back of the nose, much more apricot, peach, mango. So those tropical luscious sweet fruits along with the cherry dry fruits. Just the best way to describe the palate is the balance of wood and sweetness. Dessert flavors, balanced with alcohol and wood spice. Just that, 
that, that the element of that brown sugar just leveled in terms of sweetness. It's kind of like, in terms of sweetness on the palate, the way I can describe it is, when I have coffee in the morning, there's a certain amount of sugar I want in my coffee. And if you put too much sugar in my coffee, I absolutely hate it. I do like a very, very little amount of sugar in there to cut that bitterness just a tad, tad bit. That's the way this whiskey is. It's sweetened on the palate just the right amount. Um, wow. I am getting some, some espresso, some, some, oh. I didn't mention coffee, yeah. Yeah, coffee for it's sure. It's going nuts. Yeah, it's go. Oh. I, I almost think, I hate to say this, I almost think we didn't give enough time. We gotta stretch this bad boy out. I. It's changing, it's evolving. I really, what I'm wishing for, what would prevent me from buying this bottle tomorrow is, is some of that sulfury elements on the nose. And I'm trying to compare this to directly to the Mac 25 official release. Well, it's, it's 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 more lingering. I said I said mediumish finish. It's a little longer than that on the second on the second sip. It's it's, it's, it's lingering, lingering, and that wood spice is slowly releasing, which is becoming more luscious on the palate. Uh, so yeah, it is it is longer than than medium. It's is it worth it? It's around seven hundred bucks compared to the actual Mac Twenty Five. I'd say. I'd say I enjoy the actual, even though it's at 43%, the actual Mac 25, I enjoy, I enjoy the whole experience of the other one. It's just done a little bit better. Um, sometimes it's hard when you just have a single cask. It's, it, it's difficult to kind of bring the whole balance in there. Usually it'll have some elements that are really, really amazing. And sometimes it's all of it, but obviously with Macallan 25, they could take a bunch of different casks and, and, and design it the way exactly they want it. And it's obviously an amazing product. Um, I remember we scored the Mac 2593, I think, for both of us. For me, this on the palate is a 93 for me, but as a whole, because I didn't enjoy the nose as much, I'm going to lower it to a 92. So one point less than the actual Mac 25, but it costs a lot less. So keep that in mind. Um, we're not factoring in price. In fact, this is cast strength is gorgeous. This could be a 93. I'm being, I'm being tough. I'm going to give it a 92. Yeah, like Narby said, I would say the Macallan 25, the official bottling is more consistent because they have much more control over the variety of casks they use. It's more polished from beginning to end of the experience. So in that sense, same thing. I give it 92, but the point being, I would say the Macallan 25 official bottling is no more than a point better. So you're only getting a point less, and it's quite a bit less in price, 700 bucks. And if that bottle was bottled at 49.4%, I bet you it wouldn't be a 93, it'd probably be a 94. Oh yeah. Yeah, it just, it, Well, we, we always say that, that if current McAllen would bottle more like 46% like they used to back in the you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, or if they actually did cast strength, it'd be mind-blowing, it'd be off the charts. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, you know how you know it's a good whiskey? I see a tiny little drop and I'm squeezing for it. Um, oh, yeah. That's a sign that I, I, I do want a full bottle of this. Oh yeah. Um, it's debatable with $700, you can put that towards towards that um, something else, I don't know. But would I buy it? I'm kind of like, uh, I want a bottle. I want a bottle. So so this this is amazing. Is it the sample, it's about $35 for the sample. Something like that. Yeah, it's around $35 to $40 for a sample. It's worth it. Think about when you go to a bar and you order a shot. You could order a shot of Lava Golden 16 and they might charge you that much. So Yeah, definitely. This, to is, this is worth it. You have to pay for shipping if you live in the United States, which costs a lot. So, you know, obviously you have to put it together with a bunch of different samples or add some bottles to make the shipping worth it. But um, this is nice. I, I almost want to buy another sample of this. This is... Right? Yeah. This is bomb. Especially like if it's your birthday or something, yeah. buy a couple samples. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. definitely worth some it. Some advertising for Master of Mall. They don't pay us anything. <laughs> no, hell no. <laughs> but yeah, legit. Um, all right, you guys. A lot more reviews to come. And we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Cheers.